think this is our car. Welcome back. We are literally across the street from the East Broad Top Railroad today. We're here at the Rock Hill Trolley Museum. We want to take a look around, take a little ride on one of the cars, and take a step back through time. Maybe even learn a little bit. And this car is originally from Johnstown, Boxdam, Johnstown. Kind of reminds me of New Orleans car. Yeah, a lot like it. It's, they're both are what they call lightweight cars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they weigh, uh, still heavy, but they weigh by almost two-thirds of the weight of the old cars did. Oh, right. Okay. And, uh, and they're built kind of interesting. They're built sort of like, a, if you ever seen a model air, balsa wood airplane where they've got a frame and then they have a stress, um, like the paper along the side, similar. And this is the frame here. These are T-rails here. And then the, fr and then the metal sheet is... Sure. This car ran in Johnstown until 1960, and when Johnstown stopped running its streetcars, it was the last small city to run streetcars. And well, you see, Johnstown was a steel mill city, and they basically had three rush hours because of the different ships. Mm -hmm. And also the workers, they, uh, because of their job, they were pretty dirty and filthy. And so they didn't want to use their car, so they would use the streetcar. Well, unfortunately, in Johnstown, as you probably know, things pretty well fell off the cliff.
down in 1908. The iron furnace we went by is the third iron furnace in this region. The first one was the Bedford Furnace because this was Bedford County then. And that was actually down where the town of Orbisonia is. One of the buildings is still there. The second one was the Rock Hill Iron Furnace Town and Furnace on the other side of this creek at 522. And that one shut down because of new technology on the third one. We have the third one here, and that was used and using coke and coal because there was no more wood left. The trees were about 40 miles around any major furnace were gone. The air is black. We had to go to a fuel cell with civil war made coal king. And so after the Civil War, 1971, 1871, 1873, they completed these rocks off and the main product became coal. There are about a hundred coke ovens and those for is a non-skid material to put it on to make surfaces rough. 
but it was used for highways, it was used for uh, fill-in railroads, it was used to make concrete. It's been used for so many things. And because slag breaks down under pressure and turns to powder, it is unstable. And you'll see as we go along, there's some caves in there, but you don't see many animals living in them because they keep falling in. They are not stable. And Philip was trying to show us there are five different kinds of turtles. And Fred is here somewhere. He's the largest snapper. We have seen painted turtles, the ones with the red stripes underneath on the side. We've seen box turtles and wood turtles. And a map turtle was right on the rail. We have pictures of it. Well, thanks for joining us again today. As always, we appreciate you taking the time out of your day to join us on these little adventures. If you like what we're doing, give us a like and subscribe. Help us in our battle against the YouTube algorithm. And as always, till next time, have a great week.